Meghan Markle can't stop smiling as Prince Harry flies down Bob's Lake track at 60 miles per hour. The Duke of Sussex reached a top speed of 61 miles per hour while trying his hand at the skeleton bobsled track in Whistler, Canada. Prince Harry has been pictured flying down a skeleton bobsled track at 61 miles per hour as wife Meghan Markle watches on. Hello viewers. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell so you don't miss any news about the British royal family. New images have emerged of the Sussexes out on the slopes during their three-day trip to Canada as they continue preparation for next year's winter Invictus Games. The Duke donned a white helmet as he took on the nerve-testing challenge of navigating the icy course in Whistler, British Columbia. Meghan is pictured smiling in a black beanie and navy scarf as Harry was his past. The pair arrived on the slope at around 1 p.m. one day after they enjoyed a romantic Valentine's Day meal at a posh Italian restaurant. Followed by a camera crew, they are attending one year to go ahead of the Invictus Games Vancouver Whistler 2025. Taking place next February, it is the latest chapter in the legacy of the multi-sport competition launched by Harry in 2014 for wounded, injured, and sick servicemen and women. On Wednesday, the pair were pictured arriving on the slopes, with Meghan wearing a stylish white sweater and white trousers, alongside a beige coat, while Harry was dressed in a gray beanie, black coat, and jeans. The couple joined veterans training for alpine skiing, snowboarding, wheelchair curling, and the skeleton. The Duchess of Sussex lived in Toronto between 2011 and 2017 while starring as Rachel Zane in hit legal drama Suits. She told Hello, Canada in 2015. It's really funny because I think as much of a big city Toronto is, it's so different from L.A. or New York. I find myself in where I am recognizable and I get stopped shopping in the street. There is no paparazzi so it's really easy to just have a normal life where you are not getting dressed for the day and worried about that element of it. Prince Harry's telling gesture that proves he's constantly checking on Meghan Markle. Prince Harry leads in physical situations, but he is always checking on Meghan Markle, which shows he cares, claims a dating coach and psychologist. Prince Harry is constantly looking to see if Meghan Markle is being included and constantly shows off his caring side, a dating coach and psychologist has revealed. Whilst analyzing footage from Meghan and Harry's joint visit to mark the one year to go Invictus Games celebrations, the couple landed in Vancouver on February 13th after a two hour flight from Santa Barbara, California, and are visiting Whistler ahead of the winter event for wounded service personnel next year. The Duke and Duchess visited the Participating Nations Training Camp, which hosted 55 participants from over 19 nations. On arrival, the couple held hands on day one of the visit as they walked over to greet attendees, managers, and participants. Expert Adam Lyons said, Harry is constantly looking at her. He's double-checking and making sure she's okay. At one point, Harry walks in front of Meghan. You can tell by the way he holds her hand that he's leading the way because that's what he's used to. He added she's comfortable with him leading in physical situations, which he does naturally, but he's always checking up on her. This, by the way, is a good sign about the relationship. It shows he cares about her. Athletes are training at the winter camp in Whistler for new sports to be featured in the Invictus Games such as wheelchair curling and Nordic skiing. For day one in the picturesque ski resort, Megan was glamorous in skinny white jeans and a sweater topped with a beige quilted coat while Harry was dressed down in jeans and an anorak. The pair were spotted laughing, chatting, and crouching on the snow to talk to athletes competing at the games while Harry tried out one of the competitors' sit skis, all while being followed close behind by a camera crew. The trip to Canada comes as the couple are embroiled in a series of controversies, one over their new Sussex.com website and another over Harry's flying visit to London last week to see King Charles following his cancer diagnosis. 
Harry's dash back home to Britain for a meeting with his unwell father lasted just 45 minutes or so and was held at Clarence House. He did not stay the night at any royal residences, but instead spent the evening at a luxury hotel in London before making his way back to the USA all within 25 hours of being in the capital. Shortly after the Duke returned to America, he was spotted surprising attendees at the NFL Awards. Within 24 hours of landing back at Los Angeles International Airport, Harry appeared on stage in Vegas to present the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award to Pittsburgh Steelers footballer Cameron Hayward, leaving the audience gasping in surprise. However, while Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are in Canada for the one-year-to-go event for the Winter Invictus Games, Harry broke his silence and sat down for a new interview with Good Morning America on Friday, February 16th.